Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday night and this is Mary with Stamps and Lingers. We are going to have us a little video tutorial. Hopefully everybody got the word that we're an hour early tonight. I'm sorry, I totally forgot that we had a crew meeting today. So the first time the post went out, it said eight o'clock and that was wrong. Um, and my apologies are sent out to you for that. So let me just get refreshed over here off screen so that we can make sure that uh, I'm transmitting and I am and it looks like some folks at least got the word. Hey Rosie, hi sister. Hi Shirley, how are you? Y'all welcome Rosie, she's our latest team member in the uh, Critters and Creatin' crew team. So she joined with me last night. Hi Donna, snowy Washington, wow. Hey Karen, hi Eunice, hi Daryl, appreciate you joining tonight. All right, um, we are going to make a card today with a real cute little stamp set and bundle in the 2019 Occasions Catalog. It's called the Birthday Cheer Stamp Set. It's a cling set. Um, hey, Janie. Hey, Susan. Um, hey, Donna from Canada. And Kathy from California, thank you for joining. Let's see, let me make sure we're trans. Yes, we are. Okay, so the bundled set, um, apparently I've dropped a piece somewhere because this says I have four pieces and I only see three on here. So there must be one somewhere in my, in my box. But this is the edgelet set minus one. The most interesting pieces, of course, are these two that create the um, cute birthday presents and the cupcakes. And we're going to play with the cupcakes tonight. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Lenny. How are you? All right. Uh, so let's get started. And this is a fun little card. I, I kind of like it because this, this sentiment is kind of open-ended. Depending on what you put on the inside, it could be a birthday card. It could just be a, hey, you had a really good day. Congratulations. Something big happened. You graduated from college or you got engaged or whatever. It could be a fun little card for any of those things. So I left the inside blank as far as the sentiment goes and I just stamped some uh, some of the confetti that is included as this little, you'll see this little stamp set right there is the confetti. And my color scheme is lovely lipstick and powder pink. Why not? It's February. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, so I've got some card stock here and all of these will be on my card uh, on my blog tomorrow I'm sorry the uh, the neutral color here is gray granite hi Pam hey Patricia hi Jean and Sharon and Janet and Bill <laughs> hi back so I've got two gray granite pieces that are four inches by five and a quarter for the card front and the inner liner and then I have a smaller piece of whisper white and gray granite now this whisper white I've already embossed in the new dot to dot embossing uh, folder. And this is part of the Happiness Bloom Suite. So I've got the appropriate size mat for it. And then of course, I've got a couple of pieces of Whisper White for the card front and the inner liner. Hey, Cami, nice of you to join. So let us go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a dry fit on my card front uh, because it kind of matters where I put that front sentiment, right? And what matters is where this piece is going to go that stacks my cupcakes. So I know if I want that piece right about there, then my sentiment needs to go under it, yes? and I want it kind of centered under it. So I'm going to use, hi Penny, I'm going to use the acetate that I did not give up when the stamp of my jig went away. And I'm gonna slide that in like so. And I don't need this white piece, it's really just the mat that matters right now. I'm gonna just line that up right there and then I'm going to make sure I've got that right side up and kind of center it like so. See how that's working out? Okay, just make sure that the card stock is pushed right up into the corner. And that's true for any time you're using your Stamparatus. Wherever your card stock is as you are making your um, measurements and your adjustments, you need to be sure that it goes back there. 
All right. Now, I have got the magnet in the Stamparatus, but not the foam pad because this is a cling set, okay? If I was using a photopolymer stamp set, then I would have the little foam pad that uh, you can get, okay? All right, here we go. So now, hi, Peggy. Hi. Glad you could join. Appreciate it. I'm sorry about the, the scheduling faux pas this morning. I totally, totally forgot that we have a meeting this afternoon. It's been a busy weekend. All right, so I'm just stamping that onto the acetate to kind of be sure it's straight. Here's a little trick. You can slide the acetate. Sometimes it works easier than others. Slide the acetate down, keeping the edge right up against the side of the stamparatus. And then you can see that straight line is straight right across the bottom of the cardstock. So that helps me because sometimes I just have a heck of a time knowing that it's as straight as I want it to be. So I'm going to put this back and make sure that it still looks centered to me and I can make that work. So we're going to call that, we're going to call that good to go. Hey, for all of you who joined us this weekend on our um, Join Our Team Facebook Live event, I hope you had a good time. I sure did. It was fun to do a live video where I was in front of the camera. I thought I was going to be really scared and really nervous, but it turned out I wasn't, so that is good. Okay, that is a good stamp. I'm going to take it out and set it aside for just a second. I don't know if you guys have noticed it or if it's just me, but it seems like the darker pigmented inks take a little bit longer to dry. So you have to be pretty careful, really, about getting busy with rubbing all over it. So I'm going to stall just a little bit by putting my stamp set away. And we'll get this out the way. And then while that continues to dry, I will close up my ink pad. Thanks. Are you, uh, are you, is it blurry? Are you guys blurry? I don't think so. Let me look here, just a second. I'm, I'm double checking. I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing clear uh Peggy I'm sorry Yeah it looks clear on my computer screen too I'm not sure what to say I'm sorry All right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some uh, liquid glue and I'm going to adhere this embossed panel to its granite gray mat All right, so Rosie, when you joined, did you get the craft and carry tote? Or did you go with option number one and skip the tote? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, I do at least. All right, so there's that. And this should be dry, but I'm just not trusting it quite. Not trusting it quite yet, so I'm going to set it aside. We'll play with some, uh, let's play with a few cupcakes, shall we? While we wait for that to get good and dry. Now, if let's look at our uh, example. You can see I've cut three cupcakes, and I cut them with this die. When you cut this, the three cupcakes are actually all adhered together, and they look like this. This is how the die cut actually comes out. Not in glimmer paper, unless you use glimmer paper, but you can see that they're all hooked together. So really all I did was I cut this twice, once out of lovely lipstick and once out of powder pink, and then I trimmed out the the cupcakes. And I'm gonna show you how to, I did that on one of them. All right, so I've got two cupcakes already kind of put together with the powder pink, because, I mean, how many times can you watch me glue something and fussy cut it? And then we'll do the uh, we'll do the lovely lipstick one like so. So let me show you how to get this off of its little duha here. I just cut them apart like so, and then you just kind of eyeball it. It's not it's not very difficult to eyeball. Okay, you make a few snips. They're basically straight cuts, and then. You finish it off and then you have you do that three times and you have three individual cupcakes to do with as you want oh good 
Yay, Rosie, you got the tote. You are going to love it. And that is true. You cannot ever have too many totes. I I I really kind of thought I had too many totes because now that I'm, you know, doing 31, I've got a bunch of totes. Let me just say I I've got a bunch of totes. But you can't ever have too many totes. That is true. All right. I hope everybody's clear. It looked like everybody was. Okay, so now I'm taking my and I did this with the powder pink ones as well, only I I did them on powder pink. Let me get I've got a couple of little hanging chads here. Hang on a second. Do you think a hanging chad is actually a thing or is that just something that got, it became a term after the great hanging chad scandal of whatever year that was? I don't know. I'm not even sure a chad is a thing. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm just taking a little liquid glue. What I'm doing is I'm creating, I'm creating a bed to do some adhere, well, for goodness sake. Let me fix that so that I can adhere my frosting. And I'm trying not to squeeze really hard because I really don't want a whole ton of glue. There it comes. Okay, there we go. So I'm just getting some glue around the back of this die cut so that I can adhere it to a, a same color piece of cardstock. And of course, if you wanted to do a different color, you certainly could. If you wanted to make your, um, your cupcake liner be a different color, then you could certainly do that. And the reason I know that you could do that is because as soon as we get this adhered and cut out, I'm going to make frosting of a different color. So then you can, it doesn't matter what color is behind your frosting lines. Okay, so once that is adhered, I'm gonna just cut it out kind of roughly so that I can do a quick fussy cut. All right, now there's only one hard part about that. Uh, 31 does have a good deal going on right now. That's exactly right. A chad is a scrap of paper. Well, there you have it. Then, Eunice, thank you. All right, the only hard part about this is as your eyeballs get older, it gets a little more difficult to see the tone-on-tone -tone edge, but you can just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. All I'm doing here is I am cutting away the excess of that cardstock that I just glued the cupcake to, Okay. So yes, I'm fussy cutting, but it's really pretty simple. Even the other two that have the cherry and the heart on top were not terribly difficult. And you can even kind of undercut it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly flush with the outside edge. It just wants to be close. I don't want it to be over the outside edge, but it could be under the outside edge, if that even made sense. All right, and then we'll get that across there. There, easy, huh? All right, now, I've got, I left my frosting in my cupcakes so that I would be able to get them and not lose them. And you can see that I have cut, when I cut my um, lovely lipstick cupcakes out, I kept the cherry and the stem so that I can have a lovely lipstick, cherry, and stem, like so. Okay, and there's the stem. Come here, little stem. See why I had to keep that like that? Because, boy, is that hard to see. Hang on a minute, let's get it. Okay, let's see. The older I get, the harder it is to see these little pieces. You can't see me because I'm off camera, but my head's kind of bobbing up and down trying to get it focused. Jeez. Jeez, old Pete. And then I did the same for the heart so that we would have a little heart embellishment on the top. Here we go. Oh, it's so cute. It's just, it's so sweet and cute. It's kind of making my jaw crank. There we go. Okay. Let's put this away. Now, I'm gonna show you a little trick, little trick. I'm going to color my frosting with my Stampin' Write markers, okay? And I'm gonna color it with the same color as the cupcake. Now, here's the thing. When you do this, this is kind of rough. Uh, this new sparkle glimmer paper is not as rough as the old Dazzling Diamonds. Um, also, if you haven't tried this, it is so much easier to die cut, I can't even begin to tell you. 
but you still don't want to scrub it, okay? Because that'll be tough on your on your brush tip. So I am just you can't tell because you can't feel, but I am really just barely touching this glimmer paper, okay? Cuz I'm I'm trying to preserve the life of my brush tip as best I can, okay? So, I'm just coloring each of those. I'm making some frosting. Obviously, obviously these are strawberry on strawberry on strawberry. Cup of cakes. Okay, we'll put that away. Hi, Karen. Uh, Peggy, I'm glad you were able to get a better picture. That is good. Okay, sorry, I'm taking my coat jacket off, off camera. <sighs> Along with the eyesight, as I get older, I'm either perpetually cold except for when I'm too hot. So, you know, I go back and forth. It's really fun. I love it. I love it. Perpetually cold, except for when I'm hot. So I'm just putting a little bitty, bitty bit of liquid glue inside there. And I did this on the wrong one. So let's do this one. That'll be fine for a minute. I'll work a little quicker, yak a little less. Work a little quicker, yak a little less. There we go. See how cute that looks, colored like that? Aw, it's so sweet. Okay, and there's the rest of the frosting. And so that little cup of cake is done. And we'll do this one right quick like a bunya. Quick like a bunya. And you are correct, Lenny, not a calorie in a carload. Mm -mm. You could eat all of these. I mean, I'm not sure you should because, you know, paper and glue. Unless you were that kid that ate the paste in kindergarten. I have a question about that. If they didn't want you to eat the paste, why did they make it smell like good mint? I don't understand. I thought it smelled pretty darn good, and I'm pretty certain I probably checked it at least once to see if it tasted like it smelled. I don't know why they would do that. Why wouldn't they make it taste smell like liver and onions or something if they didn't want kids to eat it? I mean, I would bet these days that paste doesn't smell good anymore. They've prob There's probably some FDA law that says paste can't smell good because kids will eat it. So it probably does smell like liver and onions now. I don't know. Maybe kids like liver and onions these days. I mean, they eat kale chips, so certainly they could eat liver and onions. Okay, so for this next one, I'm going to, I have four little pieces to color, and I'm gonna color them with, guess, yes, that's correct, my lovely lipstick Stampin' Right marker. All right, make sure I grab it and not some other color that will look really weird. This apparently is raspberry on raspberry. I believe it would be raspberry. Well, because a lipstick flavored cupcake wouldn't be any good, right? Okay. Please be lovely lipstick. It is, yes. Okay. There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is a fun little card because, you know, it looks really complicated but it's so not. And I like it's kind of clean and simple lines, even though that's not really my thing. I actually like how it looks on this card. Okay, here we go. A little more glue. Hey, Roz, glad you could join. Hey, Karen, appreciate you coming in. Yes, Pam, or Peggy, I, Pam, it, I was right the first time. I do love those temperature changes. I spend the night Pulling the covers up, kicking the covers off. Pulling the covers up, kicking the covers off. All I want to know is, does it ever end? Is there any light at the end of the tunnel? That's really all I want to know. All right, here we go. That one looks about how a real cupcake would look at my house. Kind of sloppy. Hey, it's a homemade cupcake. It's artisanal. That's it. It's artisanal. I think that's what people use now for when they make it sloppy. It's artisanal. Let's go with that. Here we go. All right, here. Right here. 
Oh, this is jolly good. Don't know. I have no idea. I'm not English. I'm not British. Okay, I'm going to fix that because I can't stand how artisanal that looks. See, that's the thing is I just couldn't see it when I was coloring it. Now I can see it. There we go. We'll call that a good. Okay. All right. Let's set that aside. And then we can, I believe, I, certainly this has to be dry by now. So let us go ahead and adhere it to its mat. Just embellished and artsy. That's correct, Roz. I can get ink places so fast, it's not even funny. So fast, it's not even funny. Honey. Okay, here we go. And we'll get that onto its granite gray mat. Still being a little careful about rubbing over that ink just because I don't trust my own self. Okay, now we'll adhere the embossed panel with its mat. And then all we gotta do is stick on our pretty little cup of cakes our pretty little cup of cakes and we're just kind of center that up kind of using the eyeball there centered and straight good enough all right and then we're gonna set them on like so I usually I like to dry fit to see what I'm what I'm working with here there we go I like it I like it and then I kind of get an eye for where everything is going to line back up. Now this first one is all liquid glue. So it's the flat one of the three. Time for a new pack of dimensionals. I have the occasional person summer one. Personal summer. Yes, indeed. Yeah. They don't go away. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amy. Glad you could join for a little bit. I appreciate that. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of thinking here because that's an uneven surface that you're gluing to. Never-ending temps, Mary. Great. Good to know. All right. Now, the second one is going to have liquid glue here and one Stampin' Dimensional here, okay? So that starts to make up the difference of the, mm, the thickness of the first cupcake, okay? Does that make sense? Like so. And about there looks good. And the same is true of this next one, liquid glue under the top and a dimensional under the cupcake portion, like so. There we go. And booyah, there is our card front. Have fun, huh? Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, now the inside is very quick and very easy. I'm going to take my sprinkles from the birthday cheer set. And I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to eyeball it. Mm -hmm. But first I'm going to rub that and get the, make sure that's coming. And I'm just going to alternate lovely lipstick and powder pink. Yes, that's correct. Give me a second, though. As as uh, Rosie said, I am not done yet. I have not begun to dimensionalize. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And I'm going to turn the stamp set a couple of times so that it's not quite so uniform. Okay. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp. Set that aside. Pull out my powder pink. 
Yes, Amy. You must have called them ahead of time and said, be sure to harass Mary because I'm going to be late. And then I'm just cutting, doing in the middle here, like so. Sprinkles have no rhyme or reason. It's why they're sprinkles, okay? I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'm going to pull out my envelope and do the same thing right up the side. I'll start with my powder pink since I'm already playing with that ink color. And cut clean one more time. Go back to lovely lipstick. And get the end caps. Like so. Yeah, I like it. And that can set aside to dry. Close these up before I have ink everywhere. Like there, do you see that right there? I get that on my fingernail all the time. And then if I'm not careful, I will have lovely lipstick everywhere. Not on my lips. Just note to self, don't use these lovely lipsticks on your lips because it's just not right, okay? It ain't fitting. It isn't what you want. You don't want it, trust me. Just trust me on that, okay? Do not apply to your lips unless you want it to be there for the rest of your natural life. All right, let's get this adhered to its mat. And then into our lovely lipstick. What I love, kind of like about this card, I mean, I like a lot of things about this card, but what's fun is you really, really, really can play with the colors. It can be anything that you want. You could make this use um, blues, use blues and greens and you could make this a masculine card it's really not terribly feminine i mean even boys like cupcakes hello uh, and the older they are the more they like them i guess so you could make this any color scheme that you like um i am actually probably at some point this week going to make a card that uses my glimmer that i got when i cut out the frostings right so I'll cut these apart and put them on colored cardstock and like maybe even like that. See how cute those would be? Just like that. Easy peasy, huh? Just a uh, liquid glue, put those on the on that and then do a quick fussy cut around. Ready to rock and roll. Easy and done, which is always good. Okay. Now, I have a lovely lipstick matte. I mean, sorry, card base. This is a card base, and we know because it folds in the middle. And we'll just put this on the inside. Now, if I was going to send this as a birthday card, I would add happy birthday on the inside. Or if I was going to send this as a congratulations for joining my team card... I would add a an appropriate sentiment like that, or a happy graduation, or congrats on your new job, or anything like that. You could do anything you want just by changing the inside sentimente. All right, ready, go. Here we go with the Stampin' Dimensionals. But we should put them on the other side. Yeah, like that. That would be not good. How many am I going to put? Yes, it's true. 27. No, just 9. 27 would be overkill. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Okay, here we go. Get rid of these. You guys, I'm pretty proud of myself. I have had my new stamp room together for like, what, two weeks now? It's still clean. Mm-hmm. It's, I, I've been making myself, forcing myself, after I get done with every single card, I put everything away. I gather up the scraps that I'm keeping. I throw away the scraps I'm not keeping. I put away all the stamp sets. I put away all the dies. I put everything away. And so far, so good. All right, and now we'll just put this on the front. Isn't that pretty, that gray granite against the lovely lipstick? I like that a lot. All right, and there we go. Easy peasy, nice and squeezy. Let's finish off our envelope. 
Now, since I did not use a specific um, DSP, nine is perfect. It isn't wimpy. It's perfect, Sue and Rosie. Rosie, you're right. I could add four more. True. Hey, Karen. So, since I did not use a special DSP, I'm going to use the 2018-2020 6x6 DSP in lovely lipstick. And I like the little that little dot image, so that's what I'm using. I could have also used um, powder pink if I wanted to. If and I wanted to. I could have used gray granite too, but that doesn't seem very festive, does it? Within quite such a dimension as this. Okay. All right, and a quick cut. All right, I'm almost done, people. Anybody have any questions? Anything you want me to talk about? It's only 7.30. So you've got me for another few minutes if you want, if you have anything you'd like to talk about. Any questions at all? I'm not looking at the screen, I'm fussy cutting. Okay, and there we go. One. Celebration card. Make another card. Oh, Jean. <sighs> Jean, Jean, Jean. I can't think that fast. You know this. I cannot possibly think that fast. Although, hmm, let me think. Let me think about that for just a second, if I could. All right. And there is our card. So cute. Love this set. All right. Nope. I can't come up with another card. Use a different color combo and do another one. Okay, now see, I thought you'd ask me something easy. Oh, I know what. Let's make let's make my cupcakes. We'll make my cupcakes. Here, let's do that. Let's do that. Should we use this one? Or should we use a different color? What color, people? What color? What color? Do a blue, blue. I have a request for a blue. Shall we do blue berry bushel? Let's do blue berry bushel. Here we go. I like that one right there. Alrighty. You know what? Let's uh let's go ahead and cut these apart. And we're gonna use two different blues. How about that? All right, people, you're going to get to see on-camera fussy cutting, on-camera designing. Oh, my Lord. All right. You know, they say you should never do public math. I don't know who says it, but somebody says that. And I think it's going to be the same for this. But we're going to try it because I trust you to not laugh at me. Well, if you do, it'll be in fun. And it'll be because you love me. You know my crafting name is Shimmering Wizard. Did you know that? Shimmering Wizard. So it's apropos pull that I'm using shimmery sparkle glimmer paper. I love this new paper. It is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, there we go. And let's see, let's make a blue one, a blueberry bushel blue one. Mary's winging it. Mary's winging it. See you, Daryl. All right. Mary's just a winging and a winging and a winging and a winging. All righty, here we go. We'll adhere to that one. Okay. We're going to adhere this one too in this color. And then I think I want to use a different blue for the other one. So let me pull out a different blue. Ooh, how about this? No, nope, don't like it. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. 
Okay, I was wrong. We're not going to use blue. We're going to use green. How about that? Let's use Call Me Clover in the same design. So we'll have green. And blue. Green and blue. Hey, pom pom angel. Use yellow. Oh, that's better. That's better. Good, good eye. Good eye, Rosie. Good eye, Rosie. Yellow. I can't believe I didn't come up with that on my own. What a dork. Okay, we're going to use the same design in Pineapple Punch. Let's see what we think. Yep, I like it. Okay, let's try that. All righty. Here we go. We'll just make some cupcakes and then we'll call it a night. How about that? Because we got to go to a meeting. All right. There we go. Now, the other thing I need is a couple of hearts and a cherry. And I do believe we still want to stick with the... Uh, lovely lipstick, so I'm going to do a quick cut, a quick cut to get us our toppings. You can't have cupcakes without a heart and some cherries. That just doesn't even, that's just not fitting. That's just not fitting. All right, here we go. So, and all I need out of here are hearts and cherries. All right. Where did you go, little? Well, the little stem went flying. It went flying, people. Oh, well. There's a cherry. I got a cherry at least. Use red and make it patriotic. Well, look, I've got red. See what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do red, blue, and yellow, like so. Oh, there's the stem. I see it. The little booger was stuck in his die. There we go. Come here. Come here. Come out. Come out. Come out wherever you are. There we go. All right, and he's gonna go in there like so. Except not like that, that's backwards. Yeah, it'll be like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. Okay, I like it. I like where we're headed with these. Let's go quick, quick fussy cutting around here. All right, and then what we'll do is we will matte it on lovely lipstick. So we'll have white, blue, and green with an accent of lovely lipstick. And then we'll make our card base either blueberry bushel or pineapple punch. See? Same card different colors, just like I said. Okay, there's one, and we'll do the others. Yep, you could actually just use red, white, and blue. Now, if I was going to do patriotic, what I would do is I would... Um, have made all three of the cupcakes blue. I would matte with lovely lipstick and I would use the lovely lipstick in the uh, cherry and the heart, right? And then I would use um, white as my card base. And then you would have a perfect 
Oh, and that's perfect. Even the front sentiment is perfect. Time for a spectacular celebration. And then on the inside, happy 4th of July. Huh, perfect. Good job, Jean. You just created another card. All with the same design. Nice. Because I know there's lots of cupcakes on the 4th of July. I know there are. Yep, sure enough. Okay, two and the third one. Here we go. Now, when I make my card, when I made this card, I would probably use, see, what did I say I was gonna mat on? Lovely lipstick? Okay, yep, I would still use lovely lipstick for my sentiment. I would probably make blueberry bushel and lovely lipstick sprinkles on the inside. Although I might make blueberry bushel and pineapple punch because sprinkles could be yellow even for a patriotic card. They could be yellow. All right, so how's that? And that is how these would line up. In fact, you can almost do it right on the card and see how it would look. Duh. Here we go. So it would look something like that. Or something like that. Just fix it, Mary. Don't don't slow roll it. Just fix it, Mary. Make it look right. There we go. How's that? Cute, huh? I think it works out. Fourth of July is your daughter's birthday. So Peggy, it's perfect. Make a birthday card with just like this with patriotic colors. And there you go. And some flags have decorative gold braiding. That is a true thing, Ross. That is a very true thing. All right, you guys. I appreciate you spending some time with me. And uh, I hopefully we'll be back next week together. And we'll make another card. Y'all have a great, wonderful work week. I know that's an oxymoron. I'm sorry. Enjoy it anyway. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.